Hi, this is Danny Marie uh, from Marlin May, and this is 60 Seconds. Sorry, I'm still really congested, so I sound really nasally. So I'm sorry if that's a little distracting. But, so 60 Seconds is a nice, fun, kind of story-based game. I've actually tried to record this probably two or three times. It has not worked. But... Hopefully it'll work now. Uh, last few times it just like either I didn't I wasn't able to save the file or the audio was really messed up. Uh, so hopefully this isn't a waste of time for me. But here are the 60 seconds. Oh Golly. I have some tea. Hopefully make my congestion go away a little bit. Okay, so here we are in the beginning. I basically have to run around and grab everything I would need for an apocalypse sort of situation. So I have my family to grab, I have water, food, and just general supplies I need to grab. And then there's a few things that kind of just matter for this game. <laughs> lock there. The lock is really useful towards the end of a playthrough because you only get to use it if there's only one person alive and they need to leave shelter. <laughs> Just trying to move as quickly as I can and I haven't even grabbed any of my family yet. Probably focus on that next. Oh my gosh. The game's like really glitchy today. Oh, suitcase will help. Oh, but she is too much for me. I am running out of time. Let's look at Timmy. I think I'm gonna forget my daughter this time. I'm so sorry, Mary Jane. I left my daughter behind. <laughs> oh no! That really sucks. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Okay. So, here's 60 seconds. The rest of this game is just you seeing this. A lot of you reading aloud. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. We can do now. All we can do now is to start thinking of creative ways to serve our, can uh, serve our canned soup. I cannot remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Okay, that Boy Scout manual is going to be very helpful for this. Uh, good thing we grabbed the suitcase that we uh, found inside will definitely prove useful. Alright, we got the radio. <laughs> okay, we need the radio to survive in this game. I don't know why I didn't grab it when I was out there, but it was a good thing I grabbed the suitcase because otherwise I would have probably just had to restart this playthrough. <laughs> Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. This is the best sock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. <laughs> Alright, they do not need to eat or drink today. Um, the Boy Scout manual helps me because it lengthens the time they uh, can go without food. I think it's five days. I'm not like a, not super good at this game, but uh, we keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down, not on our heads anyway. Uh, good news everyone, the government just announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Finally, they are useful for something. We should get out to get uh, to those crates as soon as possible. Grabbing some protection gear might not be a bad idea. Yes, of course, I'll use my gas mask. Hopefully they don't destroy it on the way back. I just jinxed myself, they destroyed the gas mask. We went to get the supplies in our gas mask. We got a little damage. Note taken. Don't stand under a supply drop crate when it's falling out of the sky. The drop airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were we were especially happy to find some water bottles and food cans. 
For a minute, we thought it was canned meat, but we found out it was just tomato soup. Our theory is that this whole country used to run on tomatoes, and no one suspected a thing. Too water, too soup. That's nice. Uh, I would have rather had my gas mask, though. How about getting to me something to drink? Looks like everyone's just drinking. They can have some water. I'll give them water. Contamination is still strong and I don't have the gas mask, so I will not be sending anyone out uh, tomorrow. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. We tried other frequencies. We found nothing but static. Are all the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with our radio to increase its range? No! We're not going to, because you can break the radio. I'm not going to do that soon. No, I'm going to press the X. Oh. Day five. Still looking pretty good. There is nothing better than the quiet after the storm. Or was it the other way around? If he seems okay, Dolores is fine. Ted's fine. I'll wait to feed him, I guess. Um, going, we felt that like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least it looks like a rat, a rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it, or to put it more bluntly, it's either him or us. All right, let's use the ax. I'd rather lose the ax than my gun right now. Day number six, everything's fine, okay. Whatever it is, it's dead now. Quite dead. <laughs> Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Timmy doesn't need much. Dolores has to drink. Right? Everyone's just thirst. Oh, let's give them whatever we think. The longer they go without food, the more likely they'll go crazy. And so I guess I can feed them on day six. I probably should just look up how long. The Boy Scout manual lets them go without food. But just one second. I I will look that up real quick. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. I can't find anything about the Boy Scout handbook helping me go longer without food uh, and water. So, I was misinformed, but... It says the longest you can go without food is nine days. Uh, but after that, you have to feed them more often because they're more hungry after being starved. So it's recommended that you uh, give them food and water every four days, which makes sense. Uh, so basically every five days. So uh, first day, don't do anything. Uh, feed water on five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. So, I didn't do that yesterday, <laughs> so I'm going to give them food and water right now, and the next time I will give them food and water is going to be day 10. So, we'll just continue like that. We're not going to send anyone out. Play a game, they said. It will be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so much trouble. Alright. Day 8. Alright, everything looks fine. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement. And guess what? Great news! The fallout shelter has almost gone. It should be much safer to travel out on the surface now. Yay! Okay, that's good. Um, everyone's good. I don't need to worry about this till day 10. Um, do. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. Must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Yep, we're gonna send Timmy. Go outside, Timmy. Hope you come back. Day nine. All right, Timmy's back and he's not sick. That's good. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something uh, must have gone wrong. We hope they will get back to us. We don't need to feed or water them yet. You guys are fine. Stop whining. Um, yeah, we'll send someone out. Alright, Dolores has not been very talkative. Let's talk to her. Of course. Why not talk to Dolores? Uh, 
talking to Loris helps revolves, uh, resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels much better now. Timmy seems okay. It's day 10, so we're just gonna feed him water. All right. But who am I gonna send out? Probably Dolores. Nah, let's, let's send out little Timmy. And we'll give him the suitcase, and then I'm gonna give him the Boy Scout. No, I'm, no, I'm not going to give him the Boy Scout handbook. I'll give him the poison. And the axe. Okay, sounds good. Go along, little Timmy. See you soon. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Everyone's good. I don't need to worry about it until day 15. And I don't want to lie about the Boy Scout Handbook. Even reading into it, it's pretty awesome. You need it for almost all of your playthroughs. It's very helpful to keep people sane, happy, and it saves you in a lot of problematic situations. So always get that Boy Scout, Boy Scout Handbook. Surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easy. Uh, we're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be. Or else we might face some dangers we've never dreamed of. Okay. I really hope my nasally voice isn't bothering anyone. <laughs> Day 12. Not back yet. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await the rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? Fine. Hopefully Timmy comes back before day 15. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup, they're in our water. See, this is one of the good spots for the Boy Scout handbook. I get to use this. We swear some of them keep on coming back and they're, they are bigger every time we see them. They can't uh, go on like this. It's time to wage, wage war on those spiders. Boy Scout handbook, smush them all. Yeah? There is nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? One of the things I read while I was searching for the Boy Scout handbook shit <laughs> um, is that you don't open the door before day 30. I don't think that's very fun. I like be living life on the wild side, so let's just open the door. Half the time it's hooligans, half the time I get sick. But sometimes you get extra food, sometimes good things happen. So, let's see what happens. Everything looks okay. Alright, we opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn pranksters making jokes. Even after the apocalypse, so I got there was nothing good or bad happened. Alright. So that's the like dehydrated like heavily, but I should be able to go until day 15. I hope that thing wasn't lying to me. Is anything anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation? It's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that's probably means that you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens, we've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we... never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our eyes and ears open for any sign from them. Yep. Let's just listen to the radio. 